Back in the book segment tonight, there's a fringe element out there that believes the U.S. government orchestrated 9-11. That is, President Bush and the American military killed 3,000 people. One of those pushing this theory is Kevin Barrett, who actually taught at the University of Wisconsin this fall. He joins us now from Madison. You know, there's no sense in debating this issue. I had one of your compadres on a couple of uh, months ago. I don't believe a word you say. You're not going to change your position. Uh, my best argument is there's so much anti-American press out there. If you had a shred of legitimate evidence, it'd be on the front page of Le Mans or some other place that wants the USA to be embarrassed. So we don't see these reports anywhere. I don't believe you have anything. But you go on and you continue to say the Bush administration, American military, killed 3,000 people. How has that impacted your life? What has happened to you since you started doing this? Well, you know, uh, Bill, it's actually been one of the best things that ever happened to me. And in fact, we're not a fringe element. The latest polls show that 84% of the American people do not accept the 9-11 Commission report. Only 16% of the American people believe the government is uh, telling the truth what about 9-11. What poll is that? That's a, new, that's a New York Times poll that came out just uh, right. several months ago. I don't have that poll in so front of me. So actually, you're in the fringe I, element, Bill. Yeah, I don't believe that that's true, but go ahead. What has happened? Well, why don't you what look it up? You can Google it up in five seconds. Absolutely, we'll check it out. Um, what has happened to you since you've been putting this outlandish stuff out there? Well, it's not outlandish. Uh, in fact, uh, as I said, it's now practically a majority position in the U.S. and certainly around the world. Uh, and I found that the people who are working in the 9-11 Truth Movement are some of the best, most honest, intelligent, caring, compassionate, and idealistic people that I've ever met in my life. Then why, so, uh, why, won't, really any major, uh, why won't any responsible news organization print this stuff? Well, they do. They only print it once, though. For instance, uh, okay, all the newspapers. Okay, well, seems to be a big story at the president of the United were found States. Alive after whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it! Uh, hold it! Hold it! BBC, BBC News pr uh, printed stories about these hijackers turning up alive after 9/11. Uh, other respected news outlets printed stories about yeah. how Bin Laden met with the CIA when he was in Dubai in July 2001. Okay. Lamone stands behind that. If Figaro this story, stands behind if this, that. The if, you had, stands behind if there was that. any evidence of this story, it would be all over the place. It would be the story of the century. It's no point. Well, Unfortunately, they print it once and then they just forget well, about why? it. Why? But the Guardian, why would you forget uh, about President Bush killing three thousand Americans? Why would anybody forget about that? Why? Well, maybe because he's killed 600,000 Iraqis and thousands more Americans. We all know he's a mass murderer, Bill, so why yeah. are we arguing about 3,000 people when he's already killed more than half a mil all right. million now people, you're not, according you're not to the teaching, Lancet? You're not according teaching to anymore. John Hopkins University, 600,000 Americans have been killed in Iraq, so what do we, you know, 3,000 more, you know, that's really Six, not uh, a whole 600, lot. 600,000 Americans have been killed in that's Iraq? Right. That's right. According, according, yeah, according to 600,000 Americans have been no, killed 600, in Iraq. No, 600,000 Iraqis. That's not I what said you said. 600,000 Iraqis and several Are you teaching any more at the University of Wisconsin? Uh, no, I'm not teaching right now. Why? I finished my semester. We had a great semester. Why aren't you uh, teaching students, anymore? Uh, because my semester ended. I'm on a semester by semester contract. I do intend to be back in the fall. I don't I think, think they're going to take you back. My class was they such told, a success. They told us that, that you're not going to take you back. They're very likely to be willing to take me back. They told, you they're, they told us they're not taking you back. Well, this you know why they're not taking you back? Have... Because you're irresponsible. You can't back up what you say. You're a propagandist. And you know, Bill, you've, you've been calling. You've been saying I'm crazy uh, every time you've had this subject on, on your show. Correct. But you know something? Uh, maybe I am crazy to go on the show with you. Maybe. Uh, but you know, I get email from a lot of people. Most of it's supportive, but some of those people say I'm crazy. And whenever I get one of those emails, I write back and I say, you know, anybody who would email a crazy person to tell them they're crazy is crazy. And any show host who would invite a crazy person on their show to tell them they're crazy is even crazier. So no. I guess that makes two of us, Bill. The reason that you're on the program, and this will be the last time you're on, is so that people can get, well, thanks, a, get, a, look, get, a, get a look at you, all right, and can see what is in the classroom at the University of Wisconsin, and that's the only reason you're here, Mr. Barrett, but I appreciate you showing up. Well, you know, Bill, I, I, heard, I heard you were, bye -bye. You were bye -bye. dissing my students. We'll tell, okay, talk to you soon. We'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item of the day, which that probably was.